All right, it's time to start digging into the workouts now. In spite of the name 30-day workout, you're going to find that there is a learning curve involved in most of these exercises. It's going to take a little while just to learn them. So you may want to spend up to a week on each workout day until you finish the book. And then when you return to the beginning of the book, you can apply one workout per day at that point. So I'm going to take this section and talk to you about how the workouts are actually structured. You're going to find two basic exercises in each day. The first one is a dexterity exercise that we call flexercises in the book. These are exercises involving single notes that you'll be playing with a pick as well as finger style. These are designed to increase your speed, dexterity, and accuracy. The second kind of exercise each day is a chordal exercise. And in the book, we call this the cordiac drills. And these are things that will straighten out and help you develop good chordal technique. At the bottom of each workout day, you will also find additional suggestions for practicing with various ways of picking with a pick and finger style as well. And this applies to both the cordiac drills and the flexercises. And then an additional thing you need to think about is all exercises need to be played in all positions and in all keys. So it's quite a lot of work. And there's a lot of room for you to devise your own custom way to work through this 30-day workout. 